In this video, we're gonna have a look how to do the sliding 808 bass using Logic's Quick Sampler to make something like this. So let's start fresh. We need an 808 sample with some kind of big bassy tone. We can just drag that over from our sample library and look, it gives us the option to go boom into quick sampler. Note wise, I've just done something very simple, all in C, but has some notes that are lower than the others as a main kind of kick and bass pattern. Hear how we're almost there right off the bat. One of the first things to do is we're gonna switch our polyphony to mono. This is so one note will cut off the other one. Because if we layer up lots of these bass sounds, it can get pretty messy. We're just gonna turn off LFO one and two because we're not going to need them. I'm gonna change our section here that says no loop to forward. And we're gonna go snap at the top here and just put that on zero crossing. You can do right click and do auto loop within area and that will find a nice little zero crossing loop space for us. It means on the longer notes here, it will loop this yellow section like this. Now we want to start introducing a little bit of the slide and we can use our coarse pitch here and we could bring it down 12 semitones, which will drop it an octave. Equally, we could go up. That's probably gonna work better for us here. And we don't want it to maintain like that all the time. And we don't want it to happen instantly. So we're gonna put glide up quite far. As you can hear, nothing's happening yet. We need to introduce some envelope as well. We're gonna pull that right back. That's linked down to this envelope here. So we're gonna control it over time like this. larger pitch bend range and to stop that clicking we're going to go to the amplitude and just give it a little bit of a slope in everything else is pretty much down to you tweaking from there but that is how to build your patch if you want to know how to save the patch so you can quickly reload it in new sessions instead of having to make it again each time check out this video right now on the screen and that will show you how to save your own custom patches for quick and easy reuse hope this has been helpful for you take care and i will see you on the next one